In this short video, I'm going to do a quick overview of how Apple Classroom works. So I'm going to start by opening up the app. You can see a class here that I'm already connected to. Now, first of all, I have uh, power over these iPads to a certain extent. So, for example, I can press lock and that will lock all of the iPads in the class, which is extremely useful, especially when you're trying to grab attention. We also have mute, which is a similar sort of thing. It will stop people in their tracks and get them to listen. In order to see some of the other features, we're going to split the screen and look at uh, a student iPad alongside Apple Classroom. So the first feature that I'm going to look at is Open. Now Open opens up all of the iPads onto a specific app of your choice. So for example, I might want everybody to be on the camera. So there you go, I tap on camera, I press done, and now all of the iPads in the room are on the camera. Similar to that is Navigate. Navigate allows me to open all of the iPads up on a specific web page of my own choice. So I can scroll through these and push them all onto the same web page. Now we also have the button Screens. This enables me to have a bird's eye view of what all of the iPads are doing all at once. So for example, let's say that I'm doing a music lesson and I want all of the children to be on a xylophone. Well, I'm gonna to go to Open, choose my xylophone app here and push all of the children all at once onto this xylophone. Now during the practicing I notice that Linda is not behaving the way that she should be so I can tap on that, uh, that particular student and I can lock just that individual iPad. That means that the rest of the students in the class can get on but Linda has to stop because she's been uh, locked there. Now once it's all finished you can press done and it will show you an overview of what apps have been used during the lesson. So there you go, that is a quick overview of how to use Apple Classroom.